Hi, my name is Kobe Arad, Dr. Kobe Arad, and I want to discuss uh, the idea of artificial intelligence in Kabbalah. I'm a musician. I'm very, very interested in science, uh, modern uh, quantum physics, and um, also in these days, I'm very interested in the idea of artificial intelligence. Intelligence uh, called Bina uh, in uh, Kabbalistic definitions is very, very central to Kabbalah. Uh, Bina is one of the central sefirot, uh, the spiritual dimensions, uh, and it's also called the source of life. Um, and also it's called intelligence. Intelligence meaning between the words, between the ideas. When um, I was uh, thinking of uh, this topic, I, uh, of artificial intelligence, I then thought of um, usually people are surprised by it uh, because they think that human intelligence is very, very uh, superior to the intelligence of birds, of rats. They, you, when you say to a person, uh, bird mind, uh, it's usually insult. Uh, however, if we look at the six days of creation, uh, we see that God made the world in six, created the world in six days, beginning with the minerals, then going to the vegetations, to the animals, and then to the humans. Four levels. The human is actually most, is farthest, it's most far from God, uh, God's creation. The minerals are actually closest. And um, people usually don't pay attention to that uh, element, that actually in the minerals, there is actually the most, uh, the strongest uh, light of creation uh, since it's closest. Usually when the Torah was given, the closest, uh, the highest uh, individuals were standing near the, the mountain of Sinai, Mount Sinai. And therefore, you know, when you look at, uh, when you look at uh, um, the divine intelligence, uh, you see that minerals are actually were closest to the act of creation. Uh, what does that mean? We, when, for instance, we consider uh, Bachminister Fuller, who was one of the greatest architects uh, of the previous century and also uh, a scientist, he was uh, talking about bubbles uh, of a ship. That in order, if you look at one bubble and you want to really like con understand how it's constructed, he said the structure is so complex, even to make one bubble. Um, and not to speak about a ship that makes almost infinite bubbles every time. Um, and, or, for instance, if you take a hammer and s smash the wall, all the little uh, uh, ripples that are going out of the, of the wall, um, though those uh, crisps and ripples are very, very complex uh, to uh, very, very complex structures. You know, the kind of like mineral, fractal... Uh, worlds that are within the that kingdom, that domain, that uh, world. So we actually see a little bit op opposite um, picture here. That for one, human intelligence is you know uh, considered we're smarter than birds. We know how to uh, do things that birds cannot. However, the innate intelligence of birds, the innate in intelligence of minerals. Is something that we're actually one we're uh, wanting to imitate throughout the generations. Uh, the aerodynamics that birds a bird just knows how to fly, and we want to understand with our mind. And we're just like uh, I talked with a pilot uh, recently that he said that he wishes he could fly like a bird, and he used to do F F fifteen uh, in the military, and so we're seeing that the human mind. Uh, that is usually perceived by humans' regular perception as superior, is actually when we consider the innate intelligence, the bird could fly, could fly and uh, a bug even could fly, we actually see that the minerals and the vegetables and the animal kingdom has some superiority. And what artificial, and here we come back to artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence, what did, what did, where is the advantage, the advantage of artificial intelligence? It's actually in the fact that we have taken substance, the chip, mineral, the chip is a mineral, and we made it think. We actually made the, the chip think, 
through putting electron circuits in it and make make um, you know kind of like electronic circuit which has some flow uh, flow charts that are driven by uh, electrons that are going through that are uh, browsing through uh, um, the mineral kingdom so in a sense what we're doing is we made the substance think also uh, in the Hasidism there is a, a um, saying that um, the table a chair actually have an aspect that is actually in its source higher than human beings since the table and the chair they don't they don't actually um, show that they have a creator we as human beings when you look at a human being you say that this must have a creator this must have a, something behind it but a table or a chair is shouting that they're their own creator and there is something called in Kabbalah called Atzmut um, it's actually the aspect of the creator which is the highest which has no creator and there is some kind of a parallelism between the highest uh, part of the creator that doesn't that has no creator and that aspect of very low things like um, the mineral things that is almost shout they have they have no creator so we um, see that uh, that's where the superiority in a sense um, of um, artificial intelligence comes from from the fact that we have taken minerals whether which were closest to the divine creation and made them think and we if we look at, into the future where, where, where is that going to take us? So the Kabbalah is um, discussing the Judaism, the mystical part of Judaism is discussing altogether the idea of Mashiach, Messianic consciousness. Uh, and the Messianic, uh, Messianic consciousness is um, usually uh, perceived as a day and age in which um, uh, everything is going to be uh, beautiful, humans are going to be healthy, there isn't going to be just uh, peace uh, and people are actually not going to work the money is going to things are going to come from the trees and if we look at the, the idea of Ray Kurzweil of uh, the singularity so singularity uh, he has a book singularity is near and he predicts in about 15 or 20 years 25 years so is there a parallel between singularity and the messianic times I'm going to let you think about it Thank you very much.